really think that after five years that we should really be at, we shouldn't be in the position that we're in now. We shouldn't be having to campaign about uh, personal emergency evacuation plans or have to fight for cladding to be removed from, from buildings or fight for the white paper on social housing. You know, and I, the way I look at it is if, if Hillsborough is to mean anything, you know, Grenfell uh, uh, survivors and bereaved shouldn't have to wait three decades to, to have their voices listened to. And, uh, you know, we're now five years into this saga and we're, we've, we've got so, so we, we, we've travelled so little distance up the road in terms of change that it's, it's, it's really, it feels almost like a betrayal that those people with responsibility to bring us change have acted in such an incompetent and indifferent manner towards us that we, we are where we are. Is this the government mainly? Main, mainly the government. I mean, you know, I think that we've had so many different secretaries of state, so many housing secretaries. I've lost count of how many times we've had to go and retell our story and then we're, we're told that I'm different from the last person. I'm the one that's going to make the change. And then six months later on we're fighting to get an appointment with them and nothing has changed and you know five years later on there have been small changes but the 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 the, the big changes haven't happened and you know the fact that tonight disabled people who live in high-rise buildings face exactly the same danger as the residents of Grenfell faced on the night of the 14th of June 2017 should bring shame on this government.